and welcome to this special scientific video. We are here at Lee Valley, where I'm gonna be doing my half marathon, but Alan's here, who's in 40 runs kit, as you can see like myself, and he's gonna be running a, a half marathon PB today. But the science behind it is, is because we're gonna see if he runs a faster half marathon in these. Because he's never run a half marathon in a carbon plated pair of shoes. So today's video is all about finding out whether you run faster in a pair of carbon plated shoes. Which in theory you should, but we're going to find out today. So, Alan, firstly, what's your half marathon PB? Uh, about 15740. 15740. What shoes were they in? Uh, these ones, I think. New Prism. Balance Prism, yeah. if you don't know what that is. So, and you've not run in carbon plated no, shoes run. at a, a race? No, just tried to wear these in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so of course. First proper kind of outing today. Okay, right. So the idea behind, if you don't know uh, behind the carbon plate, the carbon plate provides a stiffer shoe, which then gives you that um, sort of basically a spring, a loaded spring through your stride as you get through it and then kicks you on and pushes you on. That's how they work, obviously all the elite runners uh, running them. The idea as well is, is ultra lightweight. So like for example, this shoe here, the Brooks version two, elite version two is seven point something ounce. Oh, where you gone? Seven point something ounces is ridiculous. It's got a upper, which is almost not there. Um, you've got no foam, but well, there's a little bit in there. Very little. Little bit of foam there. It's all about minimalisticness, if that's even English. You've got DNA flash in this uh, shoe, which is a super lightweight um, compound for the midsole. Uh, it's nitrogen infused. And then on the outsole, they've shaved weight through getting rid of all the rubber and stuff. So you've literally got bare um, DNA flash on there as well. And the carbon plate runs through the shoe. So you get, you get to there and it kicks you and the snaps you. But if you bend that, look, we're meant to be socially distancing, but look. That is a stiff, look, see how stiff that is? I'm really putting some pressure on that. So the idea, as I said, you get through and that then kicks on. That's how the carbon plate shoes work. So, the idea is, like I said to you, Alan, we're gonna go into the track. Alan's gonna, um, we're gonna warm up stuff and then Alan's gonna go for it and we're gonna see if he can beat his half marathon PB by wearing a pair of carbon plate racing shoes. He's finished. Bruh, did you do it? 148. 148. 148. 148. Bruh. High five. Come on. Come on. 148. 148. That's almost 10 minutes off his PB. Nine minute PB. Nine minute. That's incredible. That is incredible. Just turning off the laps. The bad news is, the good news is the nine minute PB. The bad news is, you, got, got, your shoes dirty. Dirty. Shoes. you got your shoes dirty. Send them back. <laughs> <laughs> nine minutes. Well, I was pacing for one piece. This way, see. We could pace. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. That's what it's all about, bro. Yeah. Pacing equal throughout and having a strategy on your pacing 
that is the key to this. Well, I've worked it out. If you were getting close to 140, I could afford yeah. to be lapped three times. Yeah. Right, so that's it. He's done. I am, in more ways than one. We think the shoes definitely helped. I, I, I mean, this is about as unscientific as you can get, right? I mean, yeah. we should have had white jackets on and everything. Yeah, and a pacer car. And a pacer car, and but... A I do believe, I mean, nine minutes is a huge amount off your PB, right? Either way you look at it, he's got the right pacing strategy, he's done all that. But I still think that you could put at least 20% down to those shoes, I, I think, would yeah, say. I think with a bit more training, then the shoes will get me under 150. So. Yeah, 100%. Uh, but under 145. One, so. Under 145. They will, make, they will make all the difference to take you now onto that next level, because that, carrying that speed, in, but I think what they do is they, they carry the speed. Yeah, that's right. When I got tired, I didn't feel like I slowed because I was obviously I'm yeah. still on the average pace. Yeah, because the plate's helping so, you along. Yeah. You've got a what's it load of midsole to keep you yeah. going as well, and it just it just carries that speed. The only so, thing I would say that felt quite slippery. Yeah, it was slippery. This so, this surface here, look, that is really slippery today. I noticed that on mine as well yeah. when so I was running on mine. Dry road. Like yeah, I think a dry road, then then they'll really kick in, really kick in. But it was it was definitely slippery. Right, let's get out of these yeah. athletes' way. But that's it. If you want to run faster, get yourself a car, plate, a pair of running shoes.